My name is Merle Patchett, and I'm a cultural geographer and I'm interested in the history and geographies of museum collections, particularly those relating to natural history collections. The Carpanion project is a really simple concept. You get your museum object and it comes with a label, but that label can only tell you a limited amount of information about the object. So what we're thinking about is how can we direct the visitor to more information about that actual object? But more than just direct them to information, how can we connect them to that information? So I'm interested in human relationships with animals. And in particular, I'm interested in multi-sensory relationships and also relationships in life and death and the transition between the two. Uh, so that's why I was interested in the Companion Project, because I wanted to help find uh, ways uh, in which young people particularly, but also adults, could engage with museum exhibits on many different levels. So it wasn't just about looking and seeing, but it was about feeling. And feeling is central to the way we understand animals in the world. The key premise is that the child receives a toy which they've chosen. It could be one of any number of toys that has an RFID tag in its base. When they are at a host organisation and they go along and they see the branding and they know that their toy will enliven the, uh, the exhibit that is related to this. They place the toy on the plinth. It then will add media content to whatever um, exhibit the host organization has asked us to augment. When the child is back home or in the classroom and they log on, our community website will show them the media that they have unlocked as a result of their real-world engagement. The premise for the project for me was my own experience going into museums and feeling that actually museum spaces and natural history spaces within museums were sometimes a bit neglected. They could be cobwebby or dusty and there was a sense that actually the stories that the animals had to tell were not being told in the right sort of ways in order to engage young people particularly with the histories of humans and the rest of the planet. Audience reaction so far seems to be really positive. They really like the idea that you can unlock the wonder and wisdom of the museum with your connected object. I think they really like the interactivity that it engenders between them, the connected object, but also the museum object. I think it as a highlighting tool is really important. So they're actually looking at the object itself. You know, we're using a lot of apps and mobile phones in museums and touchscreen tablets, but I think what's really great about this technology is it really kind of directs you to the object itself rather than a, a screen. 